Hello viewers, this is the second part of our dashboard making using movie database. If you haven't seen the first part yet, please check that before watching this video. The link is in the description box. In the last video, we have covered top genre. Now we'll start from number of movie released in a year. So let's start. Now we'll make infographics which will show number of movie released in a year or for genre. I'll just keep title in values and we have got it. Tag with this or link with this cell. Then I'll make it bold. I'll make it yellow. I'll give a shadow effect. I'll increase the font. So it is looking nice. Now, top rate genre. I will again go to analyze. I will go to genre. Top rate. So, I will take IMDb score. I will filter it with top 10 filter. I will keep only 5. I will create a chart. I will hide all the field button. I will remove total. I will copy it. Or I can send it directly to dashboard I'll format it with no fill with no outline as well as I'll also do this I'll give a white color font and bold it or I can unbold it now I'll place it here smaller so that it fits here now I can make it little bigger I'll change the color I'll fill one with red other with light yellow other with light green and with the bright light sky color and orange color so the combination is great i'll go to popularity i will again go to analyze so i'll find out the popularity of the genre so what i'll do now i'll keep the genre i'll keep the years here and i will give the revenue in this section now I'll insert a chart it will look like this I would hide all the buttons I'll remove this I'll remove the grid lines and I'll just copy it or I can I can copy it and paste it to dashboard or I can move the charts to my dashboard I like this one so I do this now for fill I'll give no fill for outline I'll give no outline for year I shouldn't mm, take this year I'll remove the year and for this I'll give a white color because it will be visible then I'll do this I'll change the color to yellow this is the popularity trend of the Jenner when we will click on action from our control panel it will only show the popularity of action now it's showing the combined data so it's looking like this it will look beautiful when we will do our final touch
now we will go to top actor we will go to analyze we will find the lead actor here and we will check it by movie revenue now I will filter it to top 10 filter and I will give only one filter so only one person will come here Harrison Ford and this one it will be changed automatically with our requirements so again I'm coming to dashboard here I will link it with our top actor so here is Harrison Ford with our top actor I will color it with yellow I'll bold it I'll give a effect shadow effect I'll increase the font size then our next task is to budget top budget will find the top budget movie so title would be here and budget would be in value so I'll filter it with top 10 filter I'll keep only one which one is the top so here it is again I'm linking it I'm doing the same thing and here is our top to budget so I'll link it with top budget I should link link the movie name I'll make it a white color font with a bold and and for for the budget I will again copy this I'll give a little a smaller font for this to fit in this shape okay I think it's okay now I'll I'll just link it with this cell and I will make it yellow it's looking nice but this digits are not looking good so what I'll do I'll format it and I'll custom format it in general I'll type 0, 0.00, .00 uh, for million I'll take it to billion okay now top budget then top revenue I'll find the top revenue here title and revenue I'll filter it with top 10 filter I'll keep only one as like the previous then I'll keep avatar I'm also keeping the balance for this I'll do this I'll format the sale I'll do same custom formatting already it's saved here so don't have to do this again now I'll go to dashboard and top revenue I'll just click here I'll go to revenue I'll select avatar now what I'll do I'll I just want to keep the name here I just don't want to Make the figure for these shapes so it's look better max rating for max rating again analyze what is IMDb score here is IMDb score max rating I'll filter it with top 10 filter I'll keep just one here is our max rating There is a max rating paste it here I'll link it max rating so this is the movie name I'll bold it I'll make it with white font I'll copy this and I'll keep it here now I will 
link it this max rating with the cell now I will make it white color I'll bold it okay I should give it this color it will look nice I'll give a shadow effect I think it's looking better now now I'll go for the next next is top five grossing movies I'll give title here and I'll give revenue here I'll filter it top 10 filter I'll keep only five as I want to check top five now I'll insert charts I'll insert bar charts I'll remove totals I'll hide all buttons I'll remove the figures I'll just keep this I'll fill it with no fill outline with no outline and I'll make the font white and bold and for color I'll fill it with very colors by point it will give different color for different points I'll sort it with the smallest to largest so that it will have an effect here all will be from largest to smallest now we have only one chart left let's do that revenue versus budget I'll find revenue in one column budget budget in actually I need to set both of this in values and I'll keep here as I want to make it's more like a trend line or an area chart area chart would look better then I'll remove the fields I'll also remove this I'll keep the year I will access it with interval with a 6 I'll remove the grid lines and I will paste it here I'll format it with no fill and outline with no outline I will color it with white color font I will remove this now my chart is done My next task is to insert some slicer and timeline. I can do this by going to any sheets. I'll click on pivot table and then I'll click on slicer. I need two slicer, one is for years, another is for dinner. Click OK. Make a copy. Paste it here. I'll change the theme you can choose your own theme by modify from here now we are at the end of our dashboard making we have one more task to do which is to make a connections between our slicer and our pivot table i will right click here i will click report connection i will select all of these 
from this checkbox except top general and weighted general then I'll go to here I'll do the same report connection I'll check all of this from here except two which is revenue versus budget and this one why I'm explaining this because this is here if I click 1920 it will only show 19 data of 1920 but here we are showing charts which need data from the whole period of time so if we just select here it will not show anything here now I told you that I have one more thing to do at last which is this chart I will I will format this chart now from a data point in fill I will select some picture for action I will give this action photo for comedy I will give this one for adventure for adventure I will give this one for crime I will just give one yes I have one picture for biography and for anime I am giving it just a gradient fill So this is all about our dashboard you can make your own dashboard with same concept I will give you the data you can download it and you can also make the same dashboard using that data you can make some practices at home and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you